This is the day that the Lord has made And we will rejoice and be glad in it Put your hands together Say this with us This is the day that the Lord has made This is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad in it the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad. So we say We honor our chief overseer and presiding state bishop, Clary K. Butler, to our prelate everywhere, bishops, elders, pastors, ministers, members, people of God, those of you who desire to be the people of God. Right where you are, we're asking that you rest on your feet. Everybody just say, consecrate me, Lord. Say it again, consecrate me, Lord. Consecrate me, Lord. None of me. None of me. And all of you. And all of you. Consecrate me, Lord. Consecrate me, Lord. Our call to worship. I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye land. All ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Come before his presence with singing. You thought I was worth saving. So you came and changed my life You thought I was worth keeping So you cleaned me up inside You thought I was to die for So you sacrificed your life So I could be free So I could be whole So I could tell everyone I know mm. So you came and changed my life You thought I was worth keeping So you cleaned me up inside You thought I was to die for So you sacrificed your life so I could be, so I could be whole, so I could tell everyone I know. Hallelujah. I'll worship you. Forever. I'll give you glory. Forever. I'll give you praise Forever. because I am free. Because I am whole. And I will tell everyone I know. Everybody, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. To the God who changed. I will praise you I will worship you I will give you glory I will give you glory Because you deserve it You thought I was worth saving So you came and changed my life You thought I was worth keeping so you clean me up inside. 
God, you know I was to die for. So you sacrificed your life so I could be free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time, holy. you I'll worship you I'll give you glory I'm gonna give you praise because I am free because I am whole and I will tell everyone I know you thought I was worth saving <laughs> so you came and changed my life you thought I was worth keeping. Others threw me away. But you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die. Oh. You thought I was to die. Oh. They hung you high. They stretched you wide. You thought I was to die. Oh. So you sacrificed your life so I could be free, so I could be whole, so I could tell everyone I know. One more highest praise. Holy. <laughs> God who changed my life and I will praise you I'm going to worship you I will give you glory I'm going to give you glory hallelujah because I am free hallelujah because I am whole hallelujah Mm. Mm. Jesus, Jesus. Anybody ever felt like you were thrown away? I'm serious, like you were in the gutter and somebody was stepping on you down there. Hallelujah. No way out. The only way out was up. Because I am free. Because I am whole. And I will tell everyone I know you thought I was worth saving. So you came and changed my life. You thought I was worth keeping. So you cleaned me up inside. You thought I was to die for. So you sacrificed your life. So I could be free, so I could be whole, and I will tell everyone I know. Give God a hand, please. Hallelujah. I told you that's okay for Taylor, but Jesus did it. Give God the hand, please. Hallelujah. 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 We were lost. But he thought that we were worth saving. He didn't send an angel. <laughs> he sent his only begotten son. Wish you could understand what he did for us. He didn't send a second in command. A part of the Godhead himself came. And I thank God he knew his children. He knew we would mess up from time to time. So he planned the end in the beginning. When he bowed down and said, let us make man. The us was God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. 
when Satan, through the serpent, tempted Eve. The tree of life was standing right there in the garden, just waiting for the opportune moment. We were cast out, but God made a door back in. And so because I am free, because I am whole, I'm going to be a witness show. I'll tell everyone I know. That's why I worship God. Hallelujah. Glory to the God who changed my life. And I will praise you. I will worship you. I'll give you glory. I'm going to give you praise. Because I am free. Because I am all. I'm going to tell everyone I know. Hallelujah. She thus give God a hand praise. We are at the close of another series. This is the last message in the series. I'm expecting a miracle series part five. It is fitting that this will be the final message in the series. This message and this subject on today. If you get your Bibles, I'm sorry, I get excited when I start talking about Jesus. And what he's done for us, what he's done for me. My soul cries out, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. Jeremiah chapter 18, verses 1 through 6. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. St. John chapter 3, verses 1 through 7. And then verse 16. Jeremiah chapter 18, verses 1 through 6. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Then Jeremiah said, I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. Something happened to that work in the midst of being made. Saints, you're going to go through some things. Some things going to come in your life. So he made it again another vessel as seemed good to the potter to make it. It's one good thing about a potter. If you've ever seen a potter in the wheel, he's spinning and motioning that work. But if a flaw, if he slip or if a flaw comes into it, it's still on the wheel so he can just he form it again, another vessel. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter, saith the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in mine hand, O house of Israel. Romans 6 and 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You're still talking about miracles. There was a man, this is St. John chapter 3 starting at verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except he be with him. Now Nicodemus came by night. Nicodemus, you just heard that he was a ruler of the Jews. And some of these Sadducees that sat on the board as they were, they were about to judge Christ for the work that he had done and whom he spouted to be. But Nicodemus looked into this thing and said, wait a minute, it's something about this man. So I don't want everybody on the council to know that I'm going, but he stole away at night. And he went to see Jesus. 
Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, well, Wait a minute. That ain't never been done before. How can a man be born that is old? Can he enter in the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Nicodemus, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Nicodemus, ye must be born again. Verse 16, how can it happen? For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So our subject on today, the fifth message, and to close out the series, subject on today, not perfect, just pardon, the ultimate miracle of new birth. Not perfect, but I've been pardoned through the ultimate miracle of new birth. When we look at the word perfect, it means having all the required or desirable elements, qualities or characteristics as good as it possibly can be. Means that it's free from flaws, no blemishes and no defects. Pardon means to free from penalty for a fault or a crime without being punished. The use of executive power, in this case divine power, to exempt someone from punishment. Redeem from sin, save from hell. His blood dropped the charges. The ultimate miracle, a miracle extraordinary and astonishing something that's happening that is attributed to the presence and action of the ultimate or divine power which means an ordinary person can't do it an ordinary woman she cannot rebirth a child another ordinary man cannot give a second seed to the same child but we're not talking about an ordinary man we're talking about a miracle worker he worked the ultimate miracle when he gave up his life that we would have a right to the tree of life. Yes, Jesus, he turned water into wine. But that's not the only miracle that Jesus worked. That's why Jesus said when they called for him at the wedding, my time is not yet. I got some other work to do. Yes, I perform miracles, but there is another miracle other than turning water into wine. This miracle has got to come through my blood. The ultimate miracle, the greatest miracle of all miracles was yet to come through the shed blood of Jesus on Calvary's cross. Jesus wanted them to know the last and greatest miracle is yet to come. When we look at the word new birth, to be born again or to experience the new birth, it is a phrase, particular in evangelism, that refers to the spiritual rebirth, the regeneration of the human spirit and soul. New birth is completely different and separate from a physical birth being born again through the spirit can only come through the baptism of the Holy Ghost and not the baptism of water not with sprinkling not with going in to see the priest and giving confession marvel not saints of the most high you must be born again John picked it up to let them know in St. Matthew chapter 3, 
I am but the forerunner of Jesus Christ. I indeed baptize you with the water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me, he is mightier than I. I'm not worthy to even latch his shoes. He's going to endow you with the Holy Ghost and that with fire whose fan is in his hand. Only the blood of Jesus can cool the flames of hell and he will thoroughly cleanse. He will wash you. Somebody said he will purge the floor and gather his wheat into the garner but the shaft he will burn with unquenchable fire. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 tell us about that fire for the wages the pay for sin it is death but the gift of God is eternal life if we were paid y'all for every wrong thought every wrong deed that we did you couldn't bear it I couldn't bear it but Jesus told the preacher God told the preacher Isaiah the preacher Jeremiah come here preacher I want you to go down to the potter's house and there you will find a work on the wheel Jeremiah observed that work Jeremiah no doubt thought about every hard headed perverse person in the church every hater every backbiter every lawyer but look at God oh Jeremiah they may be stiff necked but they are still my people cannot I do with Israel as the potter did with the work on the wheel I can form them if I made them from the dirt of the ground and blew and I blew the breath of life into their nostrils oh Jeremiah something is coming through my son Jesus he's able to wash he's able to cleanse doesn't matter how dirty they are what can wash away my sins well we need a miracle worker we need the ultimate miracle worker the worker of all miracles bullocks couldn't do it no other blood could do it only the precious blood of the Lamb of God his name is Jesus if you call on the name of Jesus he said everyone calling on his name call that you might be saved God our merciful father saw the condition of his prized possession mankind condemned to sin and to shame when we wanted to do right evil was ever present he loved us so much that he gave his son and Jesus somebody say Jesus somebody say Jesus he gave his life Nicodemus this teacher he was a ruler but he stuck he stole away in the midnight hour let me get to this Jesus just in case these things are true but let me tell you Jesus told Nicodemus marvel not you must be born again Nicodemus stole away but you ought to come boldly before the throne of grace that you might find mercy you might find healing for the sin sick souls I know Jesus yes he unstopped deaf ears he made the lame to walk he gave sight to the blind he turned water into wine leprosy was dried up but yet there was another miracle the woman with the issue of blood she was suddenly healed of cancer but yet there's another miracle the natural and physical birth of a child it is a miracle but yet there's another miracle it is indeed a miracle but all the blood that signed my name all the blood that he shed on Calvary's cross that blood can cleanse every sinner the wages of sin yes it is death but through his blood he died so that you would have eternal life thank God 
for the ultimate gift, the ultimate miracle of new birth. This message, you may not know it, but it's for everybody. Everybody who's ever messed up. Everybody who ever fell out of the boat. Everybody who never stepped in the boat. Every drug dealer, every drug addict, every crackhead, every crack house. There is a room at the cross for you. He died so that you could have the ultimate miracle, that of eternal, eternal life. He found, Paul found himself, but he thought he was all right on Damascus Road. God had to knock Paul off his high horse. Paul realized that he was yet so. He needed a name change. He needed to be washed. He needed to be cleansed. The Holy Ghost. Somebody said he had unchained my name. Every boy, every girl, every woman, every man, for the priests and the people. Jesus, because he died for you. You have a right to the tree of life. There you will find work on the wheel as Jeremiah did. If you fell out the boat, if you did wrong, repent. I said repent and do it quickly. Come boldly before the throne of grace that you will find healing for your soul. Doesn't matter where you've been. Doesn't matter what you've done. Jesus died so you could live. Somebody right now, they messed up so bad. They're thinking about suicide. But why should you die? Then Jesus, he hung on the cross. They hung him high. They stretched him wide. But that Roman soldier made a crucial mistake because after they had hung him and put nails in his hands and nails in his feet, he took his sword and he pierced Jesus in his side. The wall said, blood and water came shooting out of his side. There is a fountain filled with blood and is drawn from Emmanuel's vein. Send us every crackhead. Send us every prostitute. Send us everybody in the jailhouse. Send us everybody in the schoolhouse. He died that you, that you, that you could lose all your guilty stain. I'm saying to you today, no matter what they call you, how much they talk about you, come out, confess your fault, tell the adversary, take down your weapons. I'm coming out with my hands up. I did it. But Lord, I'm sorry. Jesus paid it all. And all to God I owe. I'm not perfect. But thank God I'm pardoned. Come boldly. Come boldly. <laughs> to the throne of grace. The woman at the well. She came in the heat of the day. To try to get away from the naysayers. Jesus worked so many miracles, signs and wonders. God worked so many miracles, signs and wonders. But oh, I thank God for this miracle. The ultimate miracle of new birth. Without it, you would be lost. I would be lost. We would be left without a hope. You don't have to hide sin. A lot of people are hiding stuff and they don't need to hide it. Get rid of it. Just come clean. Raise your hand up and say, I'm sorry. I did it, but God, I'm sorry. The ultimate miracle, the miracle of new birth. Not perfect, but pardon. He erased all of my sin and my shame. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody give God some praise. Rest on your feet and give God some praise. If you appreciate him, give God some praise. 
Not pardon, not perfect, but pardon. The ultimate miracle. New birth, I've been born again. Hallelujah. After I messed up, he allowed me a new birth. Through the Holy Ghost birth canal. Hallelujah. Through the womb of the Holy Ghost. He gave me a new birth. Let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come to tell you thank you. We know that we are not perfect, God, but we indeed have been pardoned. Every blood-washed sinner, God. Every one of us, God, we have some past. But thank God you didn't hold it against us. You said you would cast it into the sea of forgetfulness. Hallelujah. You would remember it no more. We couldn't ever pay for what you've done, God. We couldn't pay for your blood, God, and we couldn't atone for our sins. Nothing would wash us, God, but your blood. And oh, you gave it freely that we would have a right to the tree of life, God. Someone, God, whose head is hung down right now. God, they feel like they could just give up, God. They feel like throwing in the towel, God, because they feel like there is no hope for them. Somebody behind prison walls. They think that that is the end of their story, God. That husband, that wife, God, that has already walked away from the house because they were caught in a wrongdoing life. God, let them know that you still love them. That child, God, right now that's wrestling, God. With drugs, God, opioids, God. Homosexuality, God. Touch right now, God. Let them know you still love them, God. No matter what the world say, if they just come humbly to the throne of grace, God. They will find mercy for their souls, God. Somebody in the church house, God. A little bit disenchanted, God, and feeling down in hope, God. They've been talked about, they've been lied on, cast aside, God, but let them know you still love them. In the mighty name of Jesus, touch somebody out there in Facebook, God. YouTube, God, who's listening in right now, God. Hope, God. You are the God of hope, God. Your son came, God, to wound the broken, heal the brokenhearted, God. To bind up the wounds, God, of those that are wounded. In the mighty name of Jesus. Some of us have been cut, God. Nobody has seen the blood or the wound, God. But somebody has been cut, God. And it's deep. Who can heal a broken heart? Nobody but Jesus. Let the word go out today, God. That went forth, God. Let it be an encouragement to somebody's heart. Somebody's mind. In the hospital, God. Bereaved families everywhere. Holy Ghost, let them know that you're also a comforter and a keeper. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, God, not for our glory, but for your glory, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Heaven smile on you. We thank God for all of our listeners on Facebook, YouTube. However, this message is channeled to you. Know that God is still yet in control of your life, of our lives. Coronavirus is not in control. We have the numbers going up. Every now and then, right in the church, we hear of one that's, it touched one of our homes. But God is yet in control. Other sicknesses and diseases, seems like it's all around, but God has got you. All that you need is in Christ. Amen. The word of God is touching you. And you want to be a part of the House of God Church. House of God is established throughout the United States. We're in Africa, we're in Canada, we're in Jamaica, we're in Haiti. 
surely there was a church somewhere near you. We thank God for the saints in Kenya, Liberia. There is a church somewhere near you. Reach out to that pastor in the United States abroad. If you reach out, they're going to reach back. Look us up on the web. You'll find a phone number. Reach out to them and call them. And then if you decide you want to be a part of the House of God Harleyville Ministries, yours truly, Elder Barbara Taylor, I am the pastor here. Look at the email address on our Facebook page. There's also a phone number there. Contact me through Messenger. Send a message through the email. I promise you, if you reach out to me, I'm going to reach back. Just say, I want to be a part of the House of God Harleyville Ministries. And I promise you, I will call you. I will reach out to you and take you in right where you are. Amen? We thank God for you. There is no distance too great for God in the mighty name of Jesus as we leave this place and not his presence. Keep a prayer in your heart. Amen? And now our benediction, we're going to ask you to stand. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Ghost and fire, forever rest, rule, and abide with us henceforth now and forevermore. Let us all say in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. People of God said, Amen. God bless you. I love you all. long and hard if you believe in something with all your heart it shall come to pass I see miracles I see miracles I see miracles happening for you I see miracles I see miracles happening for you If you believe in something long and hard If you believe in something with all your heart 